Rula Christie always thought she would end up running the family business. And why not? Her family owns Christie's Seafood and Steaks, which has been a hallmark of the Houston dining scene for over 100 years. Rula was in college, looking at a career in the hospitality industry, until fate intervened. One night at Christie's, there was a run on strawberry shortcake, and Rula was dispatched to replenish the depleted strawberry stash. While on her mission, she was listening to KRBE on the car radio and heard Paul Cubby Bryant asking his listeners which restaurants in Houston delivered since he was tired of eating pizza for dinner every night. Rula called the station and arrangements were made for her and her sisters to bring Bryant a seafood feast from Christie's. After delivering dinner, the Christie siblings were given a behind the scenes tour of the radio station and that's all it took. From that moment on, Rula says, the fire was on for radio. Rula soon got a job taking requests at KRPE, which led to positions as a board op, followed by weekend swing, overnight, and evening air shifts. She accepted an offer to co-host the morning show at Philadelphia's WIOQ Q102 and spent three years in Philly before returning to Houston, first with KHMX and then back at KRPE. For almost 20 years, the Rula and Ryan show has been a staple of morning drive in Houston. While continuing her duties at KRBE, Rula also hosts Weekends with Rula, a nationally syndicated program mixing pop culture and entertainment news with conversations between her kids and her mom. The show is syndicated by Westwood One and airs in more than 50 markets. And today, the Texas Radio Hall of Fame has a new member. Please welcome Rula Christie. Thank you so much. And listen, you gotta just humor me for a second because I think this is such an amazing moment. I wanna take a picture of you. So we're gonna do a picture. You guys are doing a picture so you, we can forever have this in our memories that this is what it looks like to get inducted into the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. So everybody smile. One, two, oh, let me go point five. One, two, three. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for this, Doug Harris, and to everybody on this board. I mean, I, I feel like, I'm, I can't believe I haven't started crying yet, but <laughs> that's exactly how it started. And every single one of us who works in this industry just had somebody take a chance on them, did we not? One person took a chance on you, and then another person did, and another person did. So when I delivered that shrimp to, to Cubby, the fire was on, like the video said, and then I was like, God, I gotta get in, how do I do this? My dad, who was very present on my show, we even gave him a nickname, Papa Love, he passed away in 2013, you know, I, I worked at a restaurant waiting tables. You make more than five bucks an hour doing that. But that was my first job at KRV, five bucks an hour. And when I told my dad, I'm going to get this job, dad, at, a, at the radio station where you sent the food? And he's like, five dollars? You make more than five dollars here. And I was like, I know, I know, but it's really fun. And then it just snowballed and it's been an amazing ride. So there are people in this room that I grew up listening to as a, as a born and raised Houston girl. And I already fangirled for Moby, who's coming up after me, because, oh my God, 97 Rock, get your lazy asses out of bed. And then <laughs> Maria Todd, who's here, I mean, she was, she was my, I fangirled for her when I started working at KRBE and listening to KRBE. So I am so honored to be in the family of, of the radio broadcasting industry in general, but especially to be in the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. I have to thank... Scott Sparks, who gave me a shot to answer the phones, and John Peake, who was the PD of KRVE, to put me on the air overnight with Scott Sparks, and then Brian Bridgman, who heard me on the internet, because apparently, I mean, unless we want to fact check, I was told that KRVE was the first radio station to broadcast around the country. And because I did Weekend Swing, a consultant heard my voice, told Brian Bridgman in Philly, and that is how the Q102 connection happened. So I was blissfully ignorant when they called me and said, you want to do mornings? I said, is that good? <laughs> is that good to do mornings? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was there three years, and then Mark Sherman, God bless him, um, you know, again, listen, following my career, said, we want to do a morning show in Houston, and we want you to lead it. And I was like, really? Because the girls always go second. But I get my name first. So it was born. The Rule and Ryan show was born in 2003, and I can't thank Mark Sherman enough. He is a gem of a man. 
And then it, you know, it went on to Pat Fant from Cumulus, who then, Pat Fant, shout out to you, Pat Fant. Um, you know, I got KRBE, the Roland Ryan Show on KRBE in 2006. Leslie Whittle is a goddess in programming, and she has been the program director there for like, I don't know, 22 years. Leslie, God bless you. I love you and Mike so much. Broadcasting king and queen also. And Alex Catalago, who's our GM, and my whole show, I mean, if you've listened to the show, all we want to do is just make somebody's day better. And people look to us for our stories to help lift them up in their darkest days and their happy days. And I have lived my entire life on the radio. I've lost my dad. I've gotten married. I met my husband, Tassos. I've had my babies on the radio. <laughs> Went to labor on the air in the studio. And my family is here. My, my kids, Evie, Alexandra. Eleni and Matthew Jimmy are here. My brother-in-law Marco is here. My family's watching on the stream from everywhere because they live everywhere now. And I love my family so much. And I love my husband Tassos for letting, for letting me, he tolerates my chaos when I talk about him on the radio. <laughs> and not a lot of spouses are super cool about that, but he also has a broadcasting background, so it's been amazing. And I love, love, love my team. Uh, producer Eric Rao should definitely be in the Radio Hall of Fame at some point. I'm going to lobby for that because he is, as we all are, radio geeks at some point. But this man is a god in producing morning shows, and he is a best friend of mine. And I love him so much. I said he's my ride or die in radio. And um, we just have such a good chemistry and a good team. And I just want to thank you all so much for putting me in this class. And I thank you all for what you guys do, because I have also been affected by the things that you guys have said, as people get affected by what I have said. And I have always said to people, you know, it just takes a second to make somebody's day turn around. And we have the power of that mic. So use it wisely and just be better. When you know better, you do better. And I hope I didn't forget anybody because I feel like I did, but I didn't really write it down. I just made a note. I'll just hang around as long as you let me and as long as these pipes work. Thank you so much. Follow me at Radio Rula. I will follow you back because you can follow my chaos there. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you.